Real estate market is going to crash in 2022. What you are going to do to save yourself? Hello friends, my name is Mandeep Tesi. Today we are going to discuss what will be your real estate investment strategy in case market crashes. As you know, we had a recently increase of prime lending rate by 0.25 basis point. As the prime lending rate fluctuates, it's going to impact your interest rate, which is going to put a question mark on your cash flow as a real estate investor. As of today, we are in balanced market. This means we don't have a crazy multiple offers or a bidding war situation on properties. But speculation is that interest rates is going to go up in future, which is going to further impact your cash flow. So, so in today's video, we are going to discuss all the strategies how to protect yourself as a real estate investor. Number one, madness. Don't get into the madness of buying the property and giving more than the real value of the home. We had seen that in last, I would say two years, people are going into multiple offers. But as of today, if you are overbidding the price, you will be the first one to be impacted in case market tanks. Over leveraging. Don't over leverage yourself and always take calculated risk. Don't buy beyond your affordability means. In case you are planning to buy a luxury flip, why not considering the market situation, go for a duplex conversion where you are paying less. And in case market is not sustainable, you have multiple exit strategies. You are not selling now. You'll sell after six months. You can sustain and bear the cost of that property by renting it out. Working with a professional in North America, I have learned one thing. Always work with a person who's expert in their field because based on their experience, they can always guide you, mentor you and get right deals for you. Same applies to real estate. Always work with an investor focused real estate team so you can save while you're buying and you can always mitigate your risk based on their network and connections. They will always stand with you and you will sustain the bad times. Emergency buffer funds. Yes, as a real estate investors, always set aside three to six months of your mortgage payment so you can sustain those bad times. Multiple units. Two source of incomes are always better than a single source. Same applies to real estate. Why not buy a duplex in case of buying a single plex like a condominium units. Nothing bad against those condo apartments. We sell them. But the point here is if you have a multiple source like a upper unit and a basement suite, it will have better cash flow for you in bad times because nobody is going to stop renting considering Canadian immigration plan as you know in 2022 itself there will have more than 400,000 people landing as permanent resident in Canada and even the market crashes nobody is going to stop renting because we always need a home so it's always recommended to have multiple units while you are investing in real estate refinancing yes in last two years, you had seen such a fabulous growth in real estate because the prices went up because of low interest rate or demand and supply issues. We don't want to talk about that. But the point is you can always refinance and take your equity out for your bad times. In case you don't have any job and the market crashes or there's a bubble that burst out, you always have some buffer funds available. To summarize all these points, irrespective of the market conditions, if you are doing your right investments and you have someone called tenants to pay for your mortgage, you're always building your wealth being a real estate investors. Either somebody is paying for your mortgage, your principal is going down, values are appreciating and you have a tax write off. Further, you have a cash flow from those investments. Thanks for watching our another video and don't forget to subscribe for future such and knowledgeable videos on real estate and don't forget to like and even if you're disliking, press it twice. Thank you.